As promised, let's get straight out to that wildfire continuing to burn out of control right now near the Colorado-Wyoming border. The Beaver Creek fire continues to threaten homes right there, and it's destroyed close to 5,400 acres. And right now, it's only 5% contained. If you look at some time-lapse video showing all that smoke picking up today in Denver 7's Russell Haythorn. He's been behind those fire lines, fire lines following this story for us and in the fire's movement for the past few days now. Russell, there are a lot of resources on the ground right, now, right there. Yeah, Adam, about 400 firefighters now on the ground here in Jackson County. That translates to about 80 fire trucks and brush trucks in strategic locations all around this fire that's burning right now. We have some video to show you. We went inside the fire lines again today. Another major aerial attack from helicopters, several water drops from those choppers. In this area alone, helicopters were working to protect about a half dozen homes. The fire is still a threat to roughly 30 homes total, but none have been lost. And those with second homes and cabins up here express their gratitude for that. I feel much better is what I wanted to know. They, they, the fire department did an incredible job protecting it. They dug fire lines around it. From what I've heard, it has it's untouched. They told us for sure our cabin wasn't touched. All that was burnt down was two outbuildings of another cabin. Uh, they said they have pictures they'd be happy to show us, and uh, that's really all that we could have ever asked. Unfortunately, at about 4 o'clock this afternoon, a wicked thunderstorm moved through this area with a lot of wind and lightning. That grounded all of the helicopters for the day. They'll be back out here again tomorrow. As for those ground crews, they will be out on the fire lines until nightfall. For now, we're live in Jackson County. Russell Haythorn, Adam, back to you.